Okay, let's continue exploring Terrain Editor. And right now what I want to do is look on our right side where we have it Paint tab and Effect tab. In the procedural terrain you will have additional ones. So let's, and some of them will be duplicate like Paint and Effect. So let's look on a Paint tab. You notice we have the brush presets where we had from 3D sculpting, raising uh, paint, additional effects on our terrain, some of an even pebble effect. Just once more warning, be careful when you use them because they will increase quite a bit of the uh, size of your terrain. For example, if you're using inflate, let me bring it down a little bit, right here creating, you'll notice we're increasing quite a bit size of the polygons even on small. So be careful, for example, right here I'm going to create it and you notice that it start give me warning tell we have a lot of polygons currently using you always can go and try to use the topology to apply it but overall it is quite a bit um, tool that will add a lot of polygons to this so be careful when you use it okay let me go reset it okay also right below you notice we'll have it save brush preset if we create new add new brush preset remove from the presets, be careful with this, you can delete it, brush preset that already there, and also you can show brush editor. This is our currently brush editor, what we have it, we selected brushes. Uh, you can override if you're not careful with them, so you can create new. If you want to create new first things, what you want to do, you want to reset a name. Uh, one thing what I do recommend for you, it is um, check upcoming tutorials about terrain editors from Geek at Play. We're going more in details how to use the brushes and some tips and tricks around. Right now over what I want to do is just overview. Let's look till we look right here on a brush editor. We have a general tab where we can enable sculpting. Different type of the sculpting can apply to this. We can also apply after picking so we can pick up the height, invert, limited bandwidth which is actually very useful when you don't want to have too many polygons created. Uh, paint materials over if at the same time you want to apply it. For example, you can create a smaller rocks and you want to paint smaller rocks materials so you can apply them on the sides. Again, check the, our other tools for this. Um, we can work with fallout filter if you want to have a smoother edge on your brush. Apply specific mask and force settings for the style, size, flow and fallout. In environment tab, you can restrain this brush to specific altitude for your um, terrain, slope, and additional orientation constraints. So this is just overall environment driven. You can also go in and upload it or delete it currently um, brush just to help you to work with this. Below brush mode, we have it uh, below these options on open edit brush, we have a different brush mode. First is selected, it's a sculpting. We also have it next, which is painting. At the same time, you can notice we can enable, disable the option. And we'll have an option to the freeze mask if we're creating any mask when we're painting. Overall, you can go inside the terrain editor and just inside terrain editor, you can sculpt your terrain you can apply properly materials where you like them. So you can do almost all workflow just in this before you even leave it to do some other atmospheric maybe or some other effect. So this is a very powerful tool become um, with time and will evolve and with every new version it's become better. So you can also, if you have it too small, you can increase size and resolution for your um, editor. So it's kind of give you a little bit better tools to work with. Okay, below we have the global settings. And these settings is applied to the um, our brush. The one thing, notice on the side, we have this icon. It's mean it um, can be pressure sensitive enable. If you're using Vicom pad, you can enable specific, for example, pressure sensitive if you press harder size, flow, or fallout. Same will apply it for the ecosystem when you're using, but it's same, it's you can use it touch sensitive tablets right here when you start sculpting or painting your terrain. Okay, we have an airbrush mode by default. Uh, other mode, if you uncheck, it's a click, it's provides. So for example, 
it will go to raise right here you can see I click just creating high error brush you press and hold it's continuing growing so it's up to you what you like it most people will probably use with sensitive it's an airbrush style invert will actually going opposite to dig we have it size of our brush which is also um, if you click on your screen and you kind of move it so you can go this way they also have a size flow it's how hard obviously it will go how fast it will affect it and fall out on the edges so how smaller you want this effect applied to your brush okay so right here you can see with the fallout zero and right here with fallout one so it's kind of sharper creating okay we also can constrain these two specific clipping range and as we previewed before this the constraint will also apply to the effects to this area not just painting we have options to paint with materials currently it's a default material selected you can add unlimited amount of the materials which is kind of nice when you start working for example we can go and add new material let's say I want to add grass to this okay we'll go to disable so in this case I can start effect and painting select to um, if I need it I can also go ahead and add more additional effect uh, materials so let's look a little bit closer right here you'll notice first we have a highlighter for this specific layer and next we have an icon that you can close and you can going through them the first it's a toggling switch so it will be paint if we click once you see the ghost is kind of hiding so it will hide this from our terrains if we click one more time it's look a, like a freeze icon similar to this it's mean this is material now it's a freeze and log so you cannot paint over of that material and if we go next it is will go to allow you to go back to the uh, normal state okay the next one it is preview presence so it is you can hidden or display and it's kind of like toggling um, icon you will apply this for all materials as you apply and painting inside your terrain on the bottom also we have to create new you can save the materials or can delete the selected material from your list.